Good afternoon and welcome to my Facebook Live this afternoon. Sorry, I've got a completely bank desk in front of me. Um, that's not intentional. Um, so, um, thank you for joining me live this afternoon. My name's Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley in the UK. If you joined me earlier this week, you will have seen me make um, these two cards and these feature the free papers from the celebration catalogue and I combined them with the many messages stamp set and dies to cut these pieces out so let me show you the stamp set in case you didn't catch that um, earlier transmission so, so i'm trying to avoid that light one day i'll get it right there we go so this many messages stamp set um, is full size this picture here is actually 80 percent, so it's actually bigger than that and it prints out all these 19 sentiments in one go. So if I show you what that looks like on this piece of Granny Apple Green. Hi Jeanette. It's alright, I'm straining to see my um, the screen. I do apologise. So, um, so it stamps a complete single stamp, one single stamp, and it does all of these 19 sentiments, plus um, these extra stars and hearts and what have you. And what I, what I did for that, to make my life easier, was I did the stamping using our Stamparatus, our stamp positioning platform. And what that allowed me to do is have the stamp mounted ink it up, place my piece of card here on the right hand side and then whoops, <laughs> position that stamp down to ink up the whole thing. And the reason I did it on the Stamparatus is because it's a big stamp, it means it gives me a couple of goes at um, ink it up and placing it down so you get a nice crisp sentiment here that's the plan so an idea came to me yesterday afternoon which would be to mix and match um, the base sheet with all the sentiments and then individual sentiments within that sort of highlight them so this um, idea is very much in my head but I'm hoping we're going to be able to make it work um, today. And the colour palette that I've chosen is from the um, Bright Set. Hi, Carol G. And that is, I've got Melon Mambo, Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple Green. So my thought is to stamp one as the base cut these out and then use these on the base to highlight each of the different sentiments so that's my theory hi katie and as you can see on here the shapes that the die cuts out are all different and they all fit the sentiment so if i show you this die here so it's a single die and this is great if you struggle to make sentiments straight. So all you do is position this die over the stamp image, like so, and run it through your die cutting machine. You do need um, one of the larger platform die cutting machines, so um, sort of half A4, an A5 size one, one of the mini ones this is too wide basically for. Um, and cut those out so I've done some of this um, beforehand just because you don't need to see me just stamping and die cutting 
So what I've got is I've already got a sheet of the Granny Apple Green sentiments that I've cut up and then a sheet of the Melon Mambo sentiments that I've cut up on either side. So I've got one more for Bermuda Bay to do and what I'm thinking is that you could take any one of the colours for example this one as a base cut it out and then use these to pop on top now you could either use the same sentiments or if you wanted to you could for example use just a card to say hello you could use a few of those so i've got a red one a melon mambo version of that here so if you wanted to you could cover over anything that wasn't appropriate for your particular card now the majority of these messages are very positive messages so congratulations birthday i'm so happy to celebrate hooray it's your birthday so happy to near, hear of your exciting news there's an anniversary one at the bottom and a thank you here and in the middle there's thinking of you with sympathy and prayer so i want to make this a happy birthday card that's my thought so there's two ideas one is choose a different sentiment to put over that one so for example if i can find hoping your day is full of love laughter or your kindness means more than you can ever imagine so if you didn't want the sympathy one showing you could put one of the other sentiments on top okay um, I've had a second idea which was if you didn't want to do that is use some ribbon to cover over that sentiment so there's my plan and from this you could make a whole stack of different cards obviously um, by cutting all of these out and as I showed you yesterday I keep these in a little pot so they're ready to go so to make it a little bit more interesting I've um, embossed in white on some black card and I think that looks really stunning for the base of a card because it looks a bit like a blackboard many many years ago we did blackboard techniques to make it look like you'd scribbled with chalk on a blackboard let me just see who's joined us hi Tracy oh hi Christine um so well, I'm trying to sort of mash this all together in my mind so I'm hoping this is going to work so my thought is I'm going to use this as my sort of base layer now there's a couple of things you need to know this is the size it stamps out this is too big for a standard c6 card obviously you could make this a bigger square card for example so what i did was i cut this piece with this um right hand edge cut off all right so the one that says your kindness means more than you could ever imagine has been cut off and is oh happy day okay so that I'm left with this little bit here. So if I show you that on my black and white version. And I might change the base card, but let me just show you. So it's a very narrow margin, as you can see. Literally, it just fits in. Oh, you can't really see that. <laughs> let me get a different colored base card. because You can't see that against the white. okay let me show you now so i don't know if you can see that if i move that out of the way so there's literally a very narrow border all the way around the edge okay 
and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up the sympathy one with my piece of ribbon okay hope you see where I'm coming from here and then I'm going to use my coloured layers to make a birthday card so you can use wishing you a year of magical moments um, and then I could use a um, pink one that says happy birthday I could put sending a smile your way from one of the others let me move these in so you can see them a little bit better so can you see where I'm coming from with this now I know this is the wrong colour um, it's the right colour card and ribbon so I will change the ribbon for something else okay does that make sense so that in my mind is how my card is going to look okay let me just have a look over your sentiments comments hi Brenda yes I really do like it thanks Christine and um, hi to you Brenda so what I'm going to do is tuck these out of the way so these colors are melon mambo and granny apple green if I just bring these in from the right hand side so I've got these as well because what I thought I can do is with this one for example this pink one I've also done some die cut black ones so you could tuck some of these in in the same way and I just think that really it's just something a bit different makes it stand out and again you could either put a strip across there or another set of sentiments if you wanted to so this one your kindness would actually fit over there really nicely I think all the other ones are fine you've got sending happy thoughts you know I know you've got anniversary there so potentially you could cut off if you wanted to you could cut that section there and there okay and pop that onto a square card all right so I might do that afterwards but I just want to um, hopefully make this make this work with you so what I'm going to do is cut out the Bermuda Bay colour so I've got a choice because I love Bermuda Bay and black and melon mambo for those of you that know me my team colours are Bermuda Bay or is Bermuda Bay I should say so I'm going to cut this out I just want to give you a um, uh, um, helping hand with that which is if you take your base plate um, and you'd have a layer underneath this for your um, stamping up cut and emboss but it'd be the same for a big shot or cuttle bug or anything if you place this on your platform and push it through the whole thing through your die cutting machine you're asking a great deal for it to cut over each of these lines okay at the same time if you think as it goes down it's got a lot of work to do to cut this one then that one this one then that one at the same angle as the blade so what I really recommend you do is cut this piece down so it fits and then make sure you put it through at an angle and that way if you think of the way that it's working the pressure is being is being spread that is the word um, spread across because each of these is is arriving at an angle so at any one point you may only have that tip of those two and that bit and then on the next bit you've got a gap so does that make any sense um, and I can assure you I will um, I'll try and show you actually the difference and it's also much much kinder to your machine um, and you should do that with anything if you can okay I'm just going to bring the die cutting machine in just because I want to show you the, the, the real difference between looking after your machine 
and just putting things in. Oh, got something sticky on there. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. Let's turn this around so I've got the handle on the right side. Okay, now I know that's really close and you can't really see a great deal. Um, but I want what I want you to do is listen. <laughs> listen to me. No, listen to the sound of the plates. So I'm going to pop this in and I'm going to put it in um, straight on. So 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. If I can bring this around here, I'm a bit worried about knocking the camera. There we go. Okay. So what I've got is my plate and my dies. Just lining those up. And I'm going to put that in fairly straight. Excuse the state of my plates. <laughs> it's a very well used machine. Okay, now as I wind this through, just listen to the noise. Of course, you could. Yeah, there you go. And it's really quite stiff for me to force it through. So can you hear that? Okay, let me come back. Oh, I'll run it right the way through actually. Now I'll put another one through. So it's taking a lot of pressure and you can hear the cracking of the plates as it's going through with the die. Okay, so that's with it straight on like that okay now they do come out really easily and you can see the detail perhaps in some of those okay let me brush those to one side and then i want to show you or have you listen to when you put it in at an angle i'm just going to trim this piece down for a minute Okay, so you do want to cut it fairly close in. The difference is, and I'm sorry if this is boring, I do apologise. So putting this in at an angle, like so. Okay, if you can see that. I'm going to pop it at an angle. Okay, put the plate on. And now I want you to listen to the difference because it's not putting as much pressure on the plates as it goes through. Try not to knock my camera. Okay. You hear that? So a little bit of cracking, but really not a great deal. Okay. And that's also cut those out perfectly in the same way. Let me move that out of the way. Okay, so be kind to your plates and to your dies as well. Um, you'll also find if you do it like that, you'll get less um, bending of your dies because it, the pressure is being taken across rather than forced in it that way. So I hope that's useful. Sorry if it's a little bit boring, but um, it will just make your plates and your dies and your die cutting machine last a bit longer. Hi Verity. Let's see if I can see who's joined us since. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Yes, that's a really good analogy, actually. It's like going over speed bumps. If you hit them face on, hard, <laughs> you're going to um, ruin your suspension. If you come at them at an angle, not that I recommend you start weaving around the road, <laughs> but then you'll have a, um, a better experience. And your car will last longer. Okay, let's bring this back in so you haven't got the shine of the lights. So, I'm going to make two cars out of this, but it will be the same 
format for the two so this is the one that I've um, heat embossed so I stamped in Versamark if you can see that um, you probably can't really on the white of that but stamped in Versamark twice so it's nice and coated added my white embossing powder and then heat set it so this is going to be the base of my card and what I'm going to do is layer um, some of the co these coloured pieces on top to make a birthday card and then I'm going to do another one perhaps in the blue because that would be useful for a mail card as well and do the same thing so basically I'm do, I can do the two together so I'm just going to trim this one down as I say you need to trim the edge off and you could make it smaller and make it into a square card you could even just take a, a chunk you could die cut a piece with a large um, die cut or something sorry this is my old trimmer just happens to be close close at hand okay so I'm just going to trim this down really close so as I say it will be a very um, very close to the edge of your card hopefully that will do the job that's pretty good pretty good so um, let's do a bit of puzzle making <laughs> so let's see what we've got wishing year of magical moments and wonderful memories um, sending a smile and hoping your day is full of love, laughter and joy just wanted to say would work wouldn't it as well like so and congratulations would work maybe in the pink so you can see see what I'm doing and if you didn't want to use coloured card you could of course use coloured ink on white card but I think this this really makes it stand out a little bit better um, I'm hoping your day is full of love, laughter and joy I think that will work as well like so now obviously I've cut this down so this die cut um, isn't complete so I'm just going to trim the edge of that and you could choose to put these on either flat or you could use um, dimensionals that's the word actually I'm not going to use oh I'll check I might change the color of the ribbon there put white ribbon on or something um, sending happy thoughts would work I've just got to find them it's a little, little one sending happy thoughts and obviously what you can do actually that's to um, I might take a Bermuda Bay one um, you can choose the best out of your um, images so if you haven't stamped some of them particularly well just pick out the ones that that work um, so that's my plan I'll just see your comments see what you think <laughs> bless you yes I do like it really stands out that one doesn't it but um, let's move this there we go um, the black on the white will will work too so let's have um, I'm so happy to celebrate these moments with you um, I'm gonna have the happy birthday in black and white because that's really striking like so 
and in fact you could just go with one colour on here if you wanted to you could even use the the blue as well nothing to stop you layering up the same colour um, let's do I hope your day is like so so can you see this because I've trimmed this down this die cut is actually wider so again I'm just going to trim the edges off that so I think you could have some great fun with these and as I say you don't have to use the whole sheet you could just cut a section and put it on a smaller card if you wanted to um, so I'm going to keep this one with those two tones um, so I might just add just wanted to say so I can find that and again I'm just going to trim these down and then just literally stick them down either flat or with dimensionals and you could either have ribbon here or you could have a um, you know just a blank piece or you could take that particular one I know it's a bit repetitive like that but you could have that one covering it up it's just that I didn't want in this case the sympathy one showing so let's do that um, let's do sending happy thoughts I think so the only danger of this is you end up with <laughs> so many little pieces So tell me if you see it before I do. Oh, I've used it there. That's what I was looking for, wasn't I? Let's do the black and white version of that then. There it is. There we go. I think that will work like so. And then this one, we're going to, both of them are going to wrap some ribbon around. So what I'm going to do is stick these down first and then add the ribbon. That's my plan. Okay, so let's use a mixture of glue and mini dimensionals. So I hope you've all had a good day today. I've had a nice productive day. That's always good. And a productive day yesterday. So actually I've had a productive week. Week all in. So I'm trying to think if there's any other car, any other stamps that you could do this sort of thing with. So if you think of any let me know or give them a go as I say you can cover up ones that you don't want with other sentiments these mini dimensionals are really useful for this so I'm trying to keep that straight for you And I can't believe it's Friday tomorrow. Goodness me. Where's the week gone? I had a feeling I hadn't peeled that off. You could just see the difference in height. There we go. And obviously you could use many more colours. I've just got three here plus the black and white. this one I'm just going to use a 
an edge of these dimensionals here. Perfect. So how how has everybody else's day been? I know some of you will be homeschooling. Where did that come from up here? Could use standard ones for that. And obviously you could do these two-tone. So this would be a good plan for a um, a birthday card for somebody that supports, for example, a football team. So you could have their football colours. So I don't know if Jill's watching. Um, so, you, for example, you could have yellow and blue. So you could stamp on the yellow and then have blue or blue on yellow um, inked pieces. All sorts of things. So I think you could um, certainly make it quite versatile. It would make a good man's card in um, neutral colours. So grey grey and white, black and white, blue and white, blue and black. There we go. This reminds me of a, um, definitely reminds me of a chalkboard. Like a, a menu in a cafe. For sure. So, as I say, the many messages, stamp set and die, does require a die cutting machine, but you can save a lot of time by cutting out all your sentiments in one go and then just keeping them. So I've got all of these now, I've probably got too many, <laughs> but even just, you know, having some of these, just a card to say hello, you can mount it on a bigger, a bigger piece behind, like so. And you could use your um, punches to make any bigger pieces. I've just ordered the oval punches, which I'm looking forward to getting because that does two ovals of different sizes in one punch. So that's really useful for quick sentiments. Um, so there we go. So I'm just going to pop these on, wrap some ribbon round to cover up the sympathy. You could, if you wanted to, um, omit that by taking the ink off that, um, that bit of the stamp. It's quite fine, that's the only thing. There we go. And we're done. So I'm thinking with this one I might mount that onto a either a white or a black card. This one here. And this one, either Bermuda Bay or Melon Mambo. What do you think? Black or white? Obviously you don't want to put this on Bermuda Bay. So that's the white. It doesn't really stand out in it. I know it's only a tiny margin so I might put that on a black and then this one on Bermuda Bay as you can see like so so it is very close to the edges and that's because I think that this was designed well it wasn't designed to be used like that for starters um, but American cards are quarter of an inch wider which actually, um, I still think this would be very tight for American cards, but hey ho. Right, Bermuda Bay card for one, a black for the other. Like so, and then going to grab some Bermuda Bay ribbon of 
course it will be at the bottom there we go that will work perfectly so I'm going to wrap that round there like so just so it hides that sympathy one I don't think the anniversary is as critical but I'm trying to find one that will fit another one of those no it's not quite long enough is it okay let's put this one on so it's going to go up in there I had to revert to the end of my snails so I ran out of seal refill yesterday you'll be pleased to hear I have reordered it just want to make that a bit better like so Just want to get it taut enough that it's um it won't show the text it's better. there we go i'm going to put a bit of ribbon in the middle but i want to put it onto the card first before it goes everywhere okay let's have a look see oh hi pauline Oh yeah, stripped of DSP, that's a good idea, Christine. Yep, I like that. You've got some matching DSP, you could use that. Designer series paper. So let's cut this 14.85 and score at 10.5. For my Bermuda Bay and then I'm going to do a Bermuda Bay for the other one which is already scored so I often keep scored card ready so you can have some great fun with these colors I think for you know children's cards as well you could do some nice bright um, sets of colors so that one is going to go on to there the second So for this one I would obviously do an inside layer, I just want to lay this down really onto the card so it doesn't stick to everything else going. So it's my scribble of glue on the edges, like so. As I say it's very tight almost literally the same size as the card but a very millimeter of a border with that there we go there we are and i'm just going to put a little just going to do a knot on there you could do a bow but i'm just going to do this as a knot like so and then you could add also add some bling. Okay. I don't know what I've done with my stamping up scissors. Okay. So there's that one. And then this one is going to go onto the Bermuda Bay. And what have I got ribbon wise? I have this one, but this is <laughs> it's the wrong colour with melon mambo. That's magenta madness. 
So let me try some white. And you could also colour this in as well with the blends pens. I think that will work. Just make that like so. So it sort of worked. Quite happy with how it came out in the end. It's nice when the idea comes to fruition. Sometimes they don't always work like you want them to. As I said, you could just pick out some of these rather than do a complete card size. Just pick out a central panel. Um, so like that pit there would work particularly or in fact from there upwards that on a square card would work really well in my opinion okay just pop a little bit of snail on Also trim this one a little bit closer and there we go so I hope you like my multicolored card not really a rainbow is that I couldn't think of the word really but um, if you do have the many messages set and you want to give it a go then do share what you make with it There we have it two cards and lots and lots of spare sentiments let me just show you all of these so there's 19 sentiments in each set <laughs> so what would be quite fun would also be to take one sentiment in all of the colors wouldn't it that would be really good fun like so and stack those up one after the other so that make a good basis for another card would be to line those all up okay so there's another idea for you and obviously you can mix those with the stamped versions on plain plain white card so there we go. Um, which one do you like the best? Do you like the Bermuda Bay base or the black base? Obviously I could have kept these colours all the same rather than mix them round. Um, but do let me know which you prefer. Black base here or Bermuda Bay. Be interested to see what you think. Um, and that's all I have for today. So a little bit over the half hour. Um, and don't forget to look after your die cutting machine by putting your plates in at an angle. Okay, be kind. So, have fun with all the offcuts as well. If anybody um, wants to order the bundle, then if you order the bundle of stamps and the dies, you can choose a free celebration item up to the end of February. And if you haven't got a catalogue, then just shout and I can um, get one sorted for you. So, um, let me see, black base, black, black, <laughs> uh, black, yes, I think I agree actually, I have to say, I think this one re it just really stands out, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, so if you've got those, have some fun, think of other things, other um, stamp sets you could do something similar with, even if you haven't got the dies, you could just manually cut these out as well. Um, you know with your scissors and stuff okay so that's all thank you so much for joining me today I'll be back tomorrow Friday at five again live at five for another session of crafting how much is the bundle Pauline and I think I want to say 46.75 um, but I'm just going to double check 
<laughs> and the, of course there is something else and I've just had another thought of what you can do with that so this is um, one of the samples they give in the catalogue is they actually put some blanks in there yeah 46.75 instead of 52 because you get 10% off but so one of the other things you could do I've just had a thought is not throw away these blanks but have one um, a set printed out and then put this on top if that makes any sense like so so that would be an even even cleverer way of doing it so I've just discarded these but you could keep those and use those in some form as I say have a play with all those bits as well so right thank you so much everybody any questions um, just fire them away thanks for joining me this afternoon and um, all, it remind, all it remains is for me to say thank you look after yourselves and your loved ones just found my stamping up scissors there they are with my lovely scissor charm made by Tracy who's watching thank you Tracy um, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow and that is Friday at five thank you so much everybody really appreciate your company this afternoon thank you bye bye <laughs>